Are you looking for some relief in these times of COVID from the building sense of doom, anxiety, stress, feeling it in your body, noticing it, it perhaps in the way you handle the kids, your work performance, sleep? All those things are happening to lots of people. And for many folks, you're leery of medication, you're aware of the side effects, you're aware that year by year, the impact goes down. And ultimately, you understand that Nothing is corrected with medication. It's covering up the underlying problems. And so neurofeedback, if you've explored that and you're on this website, you may be looking for a way to change your brain so you can feel better without medication and sleep better for many of you without medication. And those results are quite possible. Hi there, I'm Dr. Randy Kale. I'm a licensed psychologist and the owner of Capital District Neurofeedback. I find we get lots of questions now about anxiety, the impact of COVID, how can I get relief? How can I help my kids, many teenagers who are struggling with anxiety? And so it's important that to understand that that answer involves multiple variables, neurofeedback being one of the answers that can provide a remarkable change because with neurofeedback, we actually change the underlying structure of, of how the brain is functioning. So uh, we're measuring brainwave patterns and typically with anxiety, we see one of a number of characteristic shifts that push brainwaves outside of the normal range that they function in, if that makes sense. In other words, when we're doing well, our brainwaves uh, work within a certain range for their magnitude and the frequency. And when we start to struggle, those brainwaves begin to move outside the norm. Now, that move outside the norm can be caused by many variables. Trauma, chronic stress, chronic sleep problems, uh, poor uh, food intake, a loss of nutrients, exposure to toxins, bad relationships, uh, all sorts of things can cause that. The challenge becomes that it becomes a self-defeating uh, problem because these thoughts show up that are anxious thoughts. We tend to give attention to it. We don't know how not to, in fact. And many times we're at war with those thoughts, which actually serves to do us great harm because we invest energy and thus feed the very thought we're trying to eliminate. Uh, if you decide you want neurofeedback and you're going to pursue that as a treatment solution, one of the things that I do is I sit with folks either in person or via uh, telehealth uh, communication and we talk about strategies to make sure that you're doing your part while neurofeedback is doing its magic, so to speak. You do your part to align forces so that you get maximal results. In closing, let me just emphasize, if you or a family member struggles with anxiety and COVID's making things worse, and you don't want to cover it up with medication, please give us a call. Again, my number here is 518-383-0600. Feel free to give me a call. I'll be happy to help. Take care and I look forward to speaking with you. Bye-bye now.